Did we really land on the moon? This is a question that has sparked lively debates and engendered a slew of conspiracy theories since Neil Armstrong famously took his one small step on July 20th, 1969. It's a tale that has been told and retold, twisted and turned, doubted and debated. But what's the truth? Some claim NASA, the United States Space Agency, staged the moon landings to win the space race against the Soviet Union. They point to alleged discrepancies in the Apollo missions, photographs and video footage, asserting they show signs of tampering. They question the flags fluttering in the airless moon environment, the absence of stars in the lunar sky and even the seemingly perfect lighting of the astronauts in the lunar module's shadow. However, experts argue that these perceived anomalies have straightforward explanations rooted in science and technology. The flag, for instance, was not fluttering but held aloft by a horizontal rod and its apparent movement was due to the astronauts' manipulation. The lack of stars? A simple consequence of the camera settings required for lunar photography and the well-lit astronauts, a result of sunlight reflecting off the moon's surface, a phenomenon known as lunar glow. Moreover, the sheer scale and complexity of a moon landing hoax make it implausible. More than 400,000 people worked on the Apollo missions. Could such a vast number of people really maintain a secret of this magnitude for over half a century? Historians also remind us of the geopolitical context of the time. The space race was a key battleground in the Cold War, with both superpowers eager to demonstrate their technological prowess. The Soviet Union, America's Cold War adversary, tracked the Apollo missions and never contested the moon landings. Would they not have exposed a hoax if it served their interests? However, despite the weight of evidence supporting the moon landings, some still question their authenticity. The moon landing conspiracy theories, like all conspiracy theories, serve a psychological need, providing a sense of order in a complex world and allowing individuals to believe they possess secret knowledge. So, did we really land on the moon? The evidence overwhelmingly suggests we did. Yet the controversy persists, fueled by a potent mix of skepticism, misinformation and a desire for intrigue. Before we part ways, ponder this. In an age of deep fakes and misinformation, how do we discern fact from fiction? How do we ensure the truth doesn't become another casualty in our digital world? Like, share and subscribe to my channel if you enjoy delving into this fascinating topic. See you in the next video where we will continue to explore the intriguing and the inexplicable.